Hello everyone, uh, I'm Tujon Felix Cortez and I'm in uh, uh, Venezuela. I've been here uh, for about a month doing an apprentice instructor certification and an intensive uh, personal training program for the group here. Uh, I'd like to introduce um, Francisco Delgado, uh, Baguhan Guru Francisco Delgado. Uh, he's a, a certified uh, instructor on the Filipino uh, combatives. Um, Alfredo Saez, also Baguhan Guru. Um, Juan Rondon uh, and um, Alvaro um, Ovales, right? <laughs> yes, Ovales. And um, we have been training all month long, uh, doing the certification, doing the intensive training, and uh, these guys have uh, uh, earned their rank, and they've done a really good job. Uh, Filipino combatives is a, uh, a complete art. Um, we cover uh, a wide uh, range of uh, uh, weapons uh, from single stick, double stick, uh, blade, single blade, double blade, long blade, espada daga, flexible weapons, projectiles. Um, but mostly, uh, when people see me, they see me doing uh, stick. So they think that Filipino combatives is uh, just about uh, sticks. Uh, and I'm also considered like, like the stick guy, which uh, I, I take it as a, a, a very uh, a big compliment. Um, to be uh, categorized like that uh, because uh, I guess I'm pretty good at it but I've been doing it for a long time and I had a great instructor which is Pamana Tujon uh, Chris Sayo. But uh, as you guys know uh, the Sayo family is also uh, worldly known for Sayo Kali and for uh, their blade uh, techniques which I, you, know, you guys already know it's pretty much incredible. So you have to ask yourself if I'm a uh, Tujon in the Sayo family uh, somewhere along the line, uh, you would think I'd learn some blade, right? <laughs> yeah, but not only blade, we learned a lot more. We learned uh, uh, Filipino martial arts um, and all that it has to offer. So what I'd like to show you is the concepts uh, that I bring uh, to Filipino combatives, which are lines. Yes, we have templates and we have targets, and we train to hit the targets and templates, uh, we have um, drills that we cover so we can uh, learn to make the techniques applicable in combat. So what we focus in on uh, and these techniques are lines. So it doesn't matter if it's a stick, uh, it doesn't matter if it's a, a sword and blade, a double blade, single or double blade, a single stick or double stick, or single blade or empty hands. Once you understand these lines, uh, um, you can apply it with any one of these weapons or variety of weapons, even uh, on projectiles. So the lines are very important to understand. Okay, so what we're going to demonstrate here is, uh, is a, a very basic uh, technique, and the technique is going to be an angle two strike, okay, and then uh, a block or a clearing, and then we're going to do a strike to the leg, and then back to an angle two strike. Very, very simple. Right? And when we do that with footwork, we enter one, and then we come back two, and then we go three to the leg. Okay? And then again, one, and then two, and then three. Okay? We add footwork because when we train, we also need to learn how to transition from move to move. All right? Using our footwork. So if I enter here, I move in, and I enter, I use this angle, and then I come over here. It's not just doing the triangle where I'm just in one place and not moving. Okay? I want to be able to cover ground, I want to be able to change direction, and then move out of the way. All right? And at the same time, use these basic three uh, uh, strikes. Uh, another rule that we use is the three count rule. Yes, we have 12 count templates, we have 36 count templates, we can have 62 count templates, 120 count templates. But when we fight, we fight with combinations, either one, two, or three type movements. All right? When we defend, it's the same. One, two, three type movement, all right? Because I am also striking back. If I'm defending, then I'm striking back. We call that feeder receiver. So I can be a feeder, I can be a receiver, I can be a feeder receiver or receiver feeder, all right? You may not understand that, um, but if uh, uh, we have an online uh, training program, uh, you uh, uh, subscribe to our online program, it'll give you a little bit better uh, uh, information on the formation or instruction in the training. But for now, what we're going to do is we're going to cover these lines. What we're going to follow here is here. These are the lines that we're talking about. 
bring it back, and then here. Okay, here, guard, here. Here, guard, here. This is a guard. Oh, this is a block. Okay? These are the lines that we want to follow. Alright? This end over here is just doing a check. Alright? We call this the third hand or the live hand. Alright? Now that's the first movement here. The next thing that we do is we're going to turn that second movement here. I'm not going to check. I'm going to do another a strike. Okay? So I'm going to strike here, strike, and then come back here. Here, double it up, and I'm going to hit double it up, and then double it up. And it's still the same line, except I'm replacing that hand check with the strike. Same line right there. Okay? And we can also replace that strike with a uh, witik or whipping strike. So we're going to go here, whip, down, here, whip, down, here, whip, down, here. And then the same thing. And when I whip, I'm going to, that's my angle of attack, right? It's still the same lines. I'm doing the same lines. I'm still creating the same line, except when I'm here, doing this movement here, and following through, I'm adding a strike or I'm adding a witik, right? Same lines. Okay. Now the next thing that we have to do, this is, this is great training for understanding. The next thing we have to do <coughs> is transition uh, uh, our footwork, okay, from move to move, okay. So we're going to go angle two, using our triangle, and then back down, okay, using our triangle. And this is, just, this is just so we can learn to enter from different angles and back. And then we have movement, simulating a fight. And this is my hand check in case the ranges change. Okay? Now from here I add that strike. Okay? From here I add that strike. And that's a movement. And I enter. And back. Okay? Then we add the WT. So we come from here and the WT using the footwork. And when I use the footwork, it gives me more power to, to do the strike. Okay? So the angles of attack is what we follow regardless of the weapon that we have. Why do we start the stick? With the stick because it's easier to follow these lines. Okay? That is the concept of Filipino combatants.